Thanks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we can uh, import the XML file to the API Gateway plus uh, Lambda. First of all, let me show you how I'm uh, going to uh, set up this uh, solution. First of all, we'll uh, create the uh, API Gateway and then uh, we'll create the uh, Lambda function. And uh, at the end, we'll just create one of the bucket where I want to push uh, the upload file, XML file uh, into the bucket. So let me show you like uh, uh, how, how we can use that API. So, uh, this is the uh, invoke URL. Uh, finally, when we have deployed the API, it, 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 it has given us the invoke URL and the point. Uh, so we'll, uh, just a second. So using uh, Postman, uh, I, I'm putting the post request, okay? And in the body, uh, I will I'll browse the binary file, which is having the XML data, okay? And uh, I'm not changing anything over here, just accept uh, application XML value over here, content time, because I wanna call uh, this kind of data, okay? Then just uh, send the request and you can see that file is inputted successfully. And uh, you can see from uh, the bucket uh, here, the file has been successfully imported and the size is something like this. And in fact, like, uh, uh, so successfully complete. Now let me show you like how we can uh, create this. And uh, actually in my previous video, I have already, uh, you know, uh, created this API. So what I'll do is uh, I have already um, exported uh, this API uh, YAML file, okay? in here and you can simply import this yaml file and you can create uh, this uh, python code and you can check this uh, at your end as well so let me show you like how you can import this okay uh, so first of all uh, we'll import In here, REST API, import the file, okay? REST example, import from Swagger, select Swagger file. You can see I have selected my YAML file, okay? In here, I'm just changing the uh, title. keep everything as it is and just import it. That's it, a new API has been created. Now the challenge is uh, into, if you will see the gateway point here, uh, it will have uh, orphan records. So probably we need to change something. Here, uh, in this method, probably uh, uh, you need to just again uh, set the function name. So my function name is test me. Okay, here I am not able to see any gateway, a second gateway. So it is my original gateway. Yeah, I am expecting the second entry of my second API. So let's do some tweet. Uh, in here, I will just update this. Okay, so it can be reflected and it can be refreshed. Let me now refresh the function. Okay, you can see now a new point has been added. Now, just let me clean up this file.
here uh, uh, in our API, which is imported, okay, you need to first deploy this, okay. Uh, I will put new name called dev imported. Just deploy it. Okay. Uh, in here, a new endpoint has been created. Now let's check this. Okay. Okay. I have changed uh the endpoint over here okay and now executing this okay successfully then let's see the result oh done thank you uh i'll put the uh, uh this link into the YouTube description. Okay, you can grab it from there. Thank you.